Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Elliott. So I run into an old friend of Candy Sugarman's, Amanda Suffolk. Amanda is a very interesting woman. She's got a radio TV show that we're going to talk about a little bit. We could. Eye on the Target Radio, nationally syndicated. Target Target Radio? Eye on the Target Radio. And it started on, started on the West Coast and is spread in the East. And frankly, as crazy as it is, I am the only nationally syndicated female Second Amendment radio host wow. in the nation. There's, right. a, there's, a, there's a lot of dudes, but there's not a lot of women that really talk about guns. And so, at least on the syndication level. Well, it's my understanding that currently right now, women are the fastest growing demographic in the shooting sports. Right. Right? Right. So they should be better represented in the media. Really? I would think, and you, you kind of want to hear from a woman's perspective. And I, I've got maybe a unique women's perspective because okay. I'm an engineer to begin with. Oh, okay. So I'm mechanically minded, you know, that, that type of thing. So it's kind of, it's not just, oh, it's pink, right? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little, little more in depth. It's okay. a little more in depth and, and, that's, and that's kind of it. And I partner with my brother, who's a gunsmith and uh, oh. and so we, we do a lot of... So he's, he's got a lot of good technical expertise that he can lend to radio show. Exactly. I love it. Now you also said something about you're going to delve into politics just a little bit. Well, NRA politics, if you will. So Which is I am, probably pretty heavy duty politics, right? Right now, right now it is. So I am on the board, board of the, I'm on the, the ballot for the board of directors for the NRA. Now that vote is coming up soon, right? If you are a life member or have been a, a NRA member for five years consecutive, consecutive that's the word yes, consecutive years then you're eligible to vote you'll know because the ballots are coming out in the february edition of the nra magazine right they're always kind of like in the center and they're all in the center and and this the february magazine comes out the last week of january so it's coming pretty quick okay and um so this is the first time i've been on on the ballot and the, you can vote for up to 25 people right the, the board is 25 strong um, I urge people to pick the people that they really know or really like or really understand and to look at them and read their bios and pick people with business experience. Sure. Because we're seeing what's happening with the NRA right now and they're under attack from New York State and so that business experience will help kind of lead them. They've, they've survived for 150 years. I don't want them to go anywhere on my watch sure. and so so the things that we need to do now are going to put them in good stead for the next 150 years. So there's a lot of good reasons to vote for Amanda Suffolk for the board of directors on NRA. My, my understanding of that? I, I think there's a lot yeah, of I mean, reasons. To me it sounds like it, you know I mean, with the radio show. So we have radio, well we have TV, um, and I've done, this is where I met Candy, was I, I do concealed carry fashion shows all over the country. Oh, nice, okay. And so we, we've been on Vice, HBO, because they look at it, and we've actually talked to the anti-gunners, really. We've gone into the belly of the beast because they they think we're kind of a little odd. And um, But I, I want them to see that we're normal people. So you're not just the, you you're, you're, you have deep roots in the gun community yeah. right now already. Yeah. So it, it's not that you're new to the game, you're new to the sport, you're new to this. You have a, a really good understanding of the firearms aspect of it. And you have a background in engineering. So you know how to run a business, you have a mechanical mind. So all of those could amalgamate into a, a, a number of good reasons that you would be an, an ideal board member to maybe brighten the ship a little bit? Uh, you know, the, the people ask me, and everybody's got an opinion of the things that are going on. Mm -hmm. and, and the only thing I can tell you is the board, I believe the board has more information than, than everyday citizens like I am right now. Absolutely. And I can just promise that I will make the best decisions I possibly can with the data that I'm given. And so that, that's it. So people are like, will you promise this or will you promise that? No, because I don't know what the data is going right, to tell Right, right. You so, don't want to overpromise something that maybe in the end. There's some reason that I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing or you're not seeing. Right. Maybe there's not, but maybe there is. So I want to, I want it to be data driven. Okay. And, so you're going to be careful with your promises and make good decisions right. for the whole of the 2A community. Exactly. And that's in your best interest because you've got the radio show. Anyway, right? I, it's just in, in the best in, interest of human nature that I don't want to I don't want to be ever tagged as telling an untruth, and so right. you know, which I'll, is I'll, good good advice for life. Yeah, yes. If you don't tell an untruth, you don't have to be like, what did I say Tuesday? Right, right. right? No. Okay. Well, Amanda, you got my vote. Now, I'm a life member. Been a life member of the NRA for 
a long time. <laughs> a long time. But you got my vote. And look here, y'all. I haven't led you astray yet. So when you when you get that American Rifleman and you open it up, the February edition, you got that ballot in there. Don't throw it away. Dig it out of those two staples. Read it out. Look for Amanda's name, Amanda Suffolk. Just darken in a little box and send it in. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Thank you. Right? I appreciate it. I think it's the right thing to do, too. So awesome. thank you. Awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.